Oh, finally. It's finally here. Bro. Bro. Waiting months. Months. For this. Oh. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I hope it's all in there. It's kind of small. Only one way to find out, right? Shh. Gotta love it. Okay, shit here. Here. All right, so Brandon's not here today. He's teaching or whatever, I guess he's got, he's still got his uh, job, unlike some people. Yeah, so he's, he's not gonna be here with me on this one, but that's fine. Uh, I'm too excited to wait for him because I've been waiting for this for months. Uh, Shimoto Designs had a Kickstarter for their new action series in November and I backed it. Oh, well, they've had it for a while, but I backed it in November and estimated delivery was around December, January, or something like that. And, um, and then coronavirus happened. <laughs> it prevented them from just getting anything done. And since I was on the tail end, I, I think I backed it in like the last week because I saw it and I was like, I don't know if I can spend the money because it's kind of pricey. But damn it, I fell in love with the bag, so I backed it a little late and uh, I was on the tail end of that. So some of the shipments got fulfilled, but they couldn't do anything because of the pandemic and shipping and goods uh, from, from this country to that country, they couldn't do anything. And it sucked because I, it, it months has, has been going by. Literally months have been going by and um, I'm just waiting for my back. I know a lot of people were upset with Shimoda, but it, it I mean, it, it didn't bug me because I, well, okay, it bugged me. I was bummed. I really wanted my bag, but I understood because there was nothing they could do. It was out of everybody's control. This uh, pandemic hit everybody really hard and I just waited patiently because I knew Shimoda, they weren't just gonna leave us hanging. So big thanks to Shimoda and for pushing through and doing everything you could to get it done. I'm sorry that you got so much backlash for it, but you know, it is what it is. You got me still. I'm, I'm still team Shimoda, especially now that I got this. I've been blabbering on long enough. I don't want to make this video long, but uh, this is the Action X 50. Well, let's just start from the top. So first got this uh, rain cover. The Action X series is not completely waterproof. It's not. It's water resistant, highly water resistant, but it's not waterproof. So they give you this. And this is kind of a testament to how big the bag could be. But yeah, so uh, rain cover with a real nice Shimoda brand on it. Love it, simple, easy. This, oh man, it's so pretty. These are sick. So I got the, the DSLR version because I, I have a battery grip on my GH5, so it's a little taller and it's in a small rig cage, so I want it to uh, be able to fit. It's a removable cell with the packing, uh, the removable skin packing cell. So this can be used to keep this dust free and everything while it's stored. Or you can use this, ow, someone's on their face. Or you can use this to uh, store your clothes and stuff like that while you're out there traveling. Oh, also, so this is a flap for the side access, ooh, in the bag, right? So the backpack has a side axis where you can flip it, zip it, rip it, you know, get the good shots. That's what this is for. I might not use it that much, but it was something improved on from the Explore series, because I don't think the Explore series had that, which is kind of a bummer. But uh, now it does, and this will slip in a certain part in the bag. I'll show you that later. Again, trying to go through this fast because there's this there's a lot I could cover, um, and I don't want to talk everybody's ear off because Lord knows I'm already doing it to me. I hate the sound of my voice already. So yeah, these are all removable. I'll show you just in cases. So this is removable. It's also tapered, tapered in a way to where it's like hassle-free when you put it in there. 
You just slip it in, push it down, and bobbity boopy. There you go. So there's, there's this is the internal core unit for the DSLR. It's tapered, so it's it's higher, but also has the taper so that it can fit in the bag without making it extra bulky or anything like that. I got the medium as opposed to the large because the large, I wanted the ability to partition off how I wanted to. I didn't want to only have this one big, huge, large size. So what I'm going to do later is get a small one. So a medium and a small is the same size as a large, to my knowledge. Oh man, I'm so stoked on this. I am so stoked. Okay, so I'm going to put this off to the side right there. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, so this, this is the thing I was most excited about, like absolutely most excited about. This is, this is the roller, roller bag. Carry on roller bag. The cool thing about this is that the size is perfect to, that it fits in most airline carry on overhead bins. Um, so you don't have to check this. I don't want to check my gear. The other cool thing about this is that it's a doctor bag style opening. So it opens upward, it opens up and out like this. Oh, look at that. Ooh. So it opens up and out, so it doesn't take up a footprint. Normal carry-ons, you have to unzip, open it up, and now you have pretty much the size of two carry-ons because you have the lid open. But with this, it opens up, it doesn't take up that much of a footprint. Your bag, your, your goodies inside are, are protected from like dust because you're not gonna fling it open into the water, into the dirt or whatever, and then fling it back over this way. It's all boom. Finally, I've been waiting so long, so long for this. I don't think you understand. So long. So the core unit fit right inside. Oh yeah. Close right up. Zip it up. Ooh, that zipper is so nice. These are, the zippers are all heavy duty YKK. These, this one is big so that it won't get caught or anything like that. It's so nice, got this nice Shimoda brand logo right here. This is the carry-on roller is what it's officially called. The carry-on roller version two. On the inside, it has mesh zippers so that you can still see what's in there. Mesh zippers here, right here and right here. You got the side handles, one right here. One over here, tucked in under there. Nice big wheels that uh, look and feel really good. And the extending. So you got your carry-on. Ah, man. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot about that. Let me try to get this. So these, these open up on the side so you can access the inside you can put Oh, I've seen people put um, tripod legs in here and they put it in there and zip it up and it's good to go. These keep the everything nice and tidy, nice and tight, All right? So when you're not using it, they stow away and it keeps that nice, sleek design. Splash guards on the YKK zippers, uh, which is really nice. Water resistance, again, not waterproof, water resistant. Don't get it twisted, folks. So here on this one, you got some slots in here so that you can uh, put passports and wallets or whatever you like. This doctor bag, this doctor style bag, it's, it's so sick. I love it. I can do that all day, all day. Oh, thank you. So this is the the bag itself. Oh my lord, lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, shing. Somebody look at this. Look at this, it's so pretty. The, the Action X series, I believe, come in two colors. There's this black color and there's like an army green, which is it's pretty dope. I do like that one, but I love black better. So they got the Action X 30, Action X 50, and Action X 70. This is the 50, the sweet spot, right in the middle. All the core units are, they can be used on every single one. And I believe it's backwards compatible with all the core units that you had before. So if you had the Explore series, you're still gonna be able to use those units for this and vice versa. They're, they're interchangeable, to my understanding.
Ooh, so this is a water, wa water resistant material and it's rip resistant. The cross hashing, I forgot what they call it, rip stop material or something like that. So these are the straps. These straps are interchangeable and they're adjustable as well. So you can use this system to adjust the height of your straps. Small, medium, large, extra large. You can adjust all that so that it fits your body, so that it fits your body the way you want. I'll probably put it on large, not exactly sure. I'm sure there's a way on the Shimoda website where I could tell you if you're this, then you should do this. If you're this, then you should do that. So you got your straps, okay? Two really nice adjustable, exchangeable straps. So they have, I think this is the tech straps, something like that. They have extra padded straps. So if you are carrying a lot of gear and you want that extra support, you can buy those separately. There's uh, straps for women. I don't gotta worry about that. Um, but all interchangeable between all the backpacks. A very cool system. This has a water bottle carrier or whatever carrier. Keeps it sleek if you're not using it. That's the thing. With a lot of backpacks, they have like that designated bottle carrier, whatever, but it's just always there. If you don't wanna use it, it's just there, you know? But this tucks away real nicely. Sleek design, keeps it there. But when you need it, boom, it holds and see. And it slips right in there. Let me show you. Slips right in. Mm. So there's that. And when you're done, it's gone. On the other side, let me see. This is a phone carrier. So iPhone 11 X S Max, X whatever. I don't know. They got so many different names for it. And then slips right in and yeah. Very nice, my phone's in there. And if you don't need it, that's it. You just zip it up and it still looks sleek as hell. So we got this, let's see. Ooh. Is that a whistle? Oh yeah, it is a whistle. Pretty standard, I would say, on um, hiking bags. I don't wanna blow out my mic. Gosh, this video is taking way longer than I thought it was gonna be. But again, I told you, I'm excited for this. Gonna try to keep it under 10 minutes. <laughs> here is your waist support. It's split up here. It got it split right there, like this. For uh, weight displacement, it wraps around your pelvis bone. Pelvis? Pelvic? Um, it wraps around that, your waist, so that it's just, it feels better. They intend for you to use this bag in like the most extreme conditions. That's what it's for. Snowing, raining, in the desert, dirt biking, anything you could think of, that's what they intended you to use this bag for. So all these clips are, first of all, heavy duty. Also, they are um, glove friendly. You can get to these clips and open them up even if you have gloves on. They're glove friendly clips. If your fingers are frozen, rigid, and you got no feeling them in there, we've all been there, you'll still be able to access everything in your bag. Probably one of the coolest things about this bag is this, the top load roll, what do they call it? Expandable roll top right here. This is, I think, by design, a 40 liter, 40 liter bag or something like that. But with this top, it adds an extra 10 liters to the top. A lot of the roll tops, when they're not being used, it's just like this extra flap on the top. Or they have a way to like cover it up or something like that. But this is just, it's super sleek. It's just out of the way. It looks like the backpack itself. And then if you need to open it up, add extra stuff, boom, add it there. Load it up at the top. The cool thing too is there's Bat. There's zippers here so that the idea for this zipper is that if you have your top just loaded, right? And you keep putting stuff in there on the top and you want to get that one thing, that one thing that you know is not here at the top. It's covered under all this stuff. You don't have to take all your shit out. You can leave all that stuff where it is. You don't have to take it all out. Open up this side a zipper and just reach right in. Or it gives you access to these, uh, these zipper pouches. 
you keep your wallet, you keep your keys, everything you need right there. I mean, you don't have to fish through all the stuff that you've been loading through the top to get it. It's all accessible still, which is super nice, super streamlined, especially when you're in the middle of like the desert or a mountain or by the water where you don't want to take all the crap out of your bag. It's going to get all wet, going to get all dirty, and then you have to put it back in the bag. Muddy, dirty, wet, snowy, whatever. It, it, it's just, it makes so much sense. So it says roll forward, which is this way. Close backward, which is that way. Handles, handles everywhere. There's a handle here, there's a handle here. So if you just want to carry it from the side or it helps you kind of whip it around, especially when it's super loaded with, with all your goodies. Okay, let's get, let's get to this part. Where do I, do I open this? Oh, 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 magnet. Oh, I love magnets. Now this side strap, which can be cumbersome and annoying if you don't need it, you can slip it right out. It's velcroed in there, I just checked. Yeah, you can slip it right out if you don't need all this extra support, if you're just traveling light or whatever. Can kind of get in the way, especially when you're trying to access this part of the bag. There. Boom. Boom. Ooh, another bag of air. This is where you stuff your core units. This is the upper sack area of the bag itself. And this is a laptop carrier for up to 15 inch laptop. And it was tried and tested, I believe, with the, with the new MacBook Pros, Jamoda actually, they took a backpack over there and tried to stuff it inside at the store. They got in a little bit of trouble for that. I think they did ask permission, but they didn't like it. They did it and they snapped the picture. It does fit. This is a 13 inch Mac MacBook with a case. 13 inch MacBook with the case fits in there without uh, a problem. Extra padding right there. Cool thing about that is if it's on your back, it's got that extra padding so it's protected. When you put your bag down, it's gonna be sitting up here. If you put it down this way for whatever reason, it's still gonna have all the padding from the straps and the padding itself. It's gonna be protected. Your goodies are gonna be protected, which is the most important thing when having a backpack because why are you gonna put yourself in a backpack take it with you? You're gonna get all wrecked. Uh, the inside is blue for higher visibility, I've been told. So if you're like in the dark, you only got a headlamp on, you're gonna be able to see your goodies because it's gonna reflect light a little bit better than just a dark inside, black, brown, whatever. Let's get this core unit slapped in here. This around. There we go. So I think the thing that made that a little bit more difficult is that there is a wire frame that goes throughout the, the body of this bag. This bag is intended for hiking and most good hiking bags have a rigid inner bar uh, frame to help with carrying the weight and, and keeping the bag upright and open for better weight displacement. So it keeps the bag upright. It's not gonna start flopping around because that frame is in there, but the frame was what was making it so difficult for me to get the core unit in there. First time I've ever done this, I'll figure it out and I'll loosen up the bag, I'm sure, as it goes. When you're done, your core unit comes out. Camera gear goes into your roller, vice versa. And it's it's all interchangeable, which is why this, well, see, that was way easier. I got it going that time. We're figuring it out, we're getting it going. So boom, look at that, oh yeah, it's so pretty. They, it's like they thought of everything. So for the straps itself, they have all these little loops, this hardcore plastic loopies, these fabric loopies. And you can hang anything you want on these. I believe there are also, there's like a top loader thing where it's just something that you can strap onto your chest on top of the straps. So you can like get your camera and slip it out, put it right back in if you need it. So these straps right here are adjustable. You pull on these, it yanks the bag up and it puts, it just, puts the weight right where you want it to where it doesn't even feel like you're carrying as much as you actually are carrying. Very common in uh, hiking bags and stuff like that. There's straps here on the back. You can strap uh, tripods, monopods, gimbals, whatever you need right here on your bag. Uh, oh man, 
It's, I keep finding things that I forgot were on, on the bag that I like. So this one I probably won't use because I don't do ski, snow, sports, snowboarding, nothing like that. These straps right here are pretty dope. They're rubbery, stretchy, grippy material. So if you get your skis, you slide them in right there, keep them upright right here on either side, or you can just slip a uh, tripod right here because this brings out another little bag there. Typically this is for like water bottles, the oversized water bottles, thermo flasks that are really big. This will fit those. And like I said, when you don't want to use it, you don't have this big net here because it's stowable. You just stow it away and you're good to go. If you're putting a tripod, if you're putting a tripod in here, tripod legs go in here, the upper part comes up here, you cinch that, you cinch the bottom here, your tripod's not going anywhere. On the other side, it's the same thing. You got two bags, two bags for a big old fat water bottle on one side and your tripod on the other. Stowable to get it out of the way. This is the flip side of my core unit, All right? So I got my bag right here. You open it up and that, that's the inside where you get your goodies and stuff like that. This little Velcro spot, you get this flap, put it inside that and it, and it acts as just one flap. So that's your option there. On the other side, you have a kind of a see-through mesh. You can put some goodies there, maybe some filters or whatever, but the cool thing is that it's, you can see through it. You know what's, what you're grabbing for. There's little, uh, there are little bands here, right here for like, uh, seriously, they, they showed it to carry ice picks for those insane ice climbers. They put their picks there, they put all sorts of things there, climbing carabiners. Like people are gonna use this bag to do some crazy stuff. I'm stoked to see it. This little mesh pocket for your trash. If you don't wanna stop to put your trash away, you just this strap for support can be removed if you don't need it. The inside of the bag itself, got pockets here. Again, the mesh so that you can see what you're putting in there. There's an actual pouch here for the water pouches and stuff. There's a way to feed the, the funnel, the hose, out of this spot that's designated for that. Again, if you wanna access the bag, you don't have to do it through the folding top loader thing. So if you're not using the top loader at all, you have your access here, right? To, to the inside contents of the bag. So there you go. There's my uh, super quick review, weird unboxing thing. Shimoda Action X50, the new one, and, and the roller carry-on. Big thanks to Shimoda. I mean, it's pretty obvious because I think there's only like two or three of you guys watching this video. I think it's pretty obvious, but this is in no way I'm not sponsored by <laughs> Shimoda. They're not a sponsor, but they definitely could be. I bought this bag with my own money back in October or November of 2019 when they had the Kickstarter for it. Finally came months later. But yeah, I bought this with my own money. Not a sponsor at all. I just wanted to show you guys because I'm super excited for this bag. I think they're a great company and they make great, great products. And I plan on getting some more stuff to add to this uh, system that they got. And if I do, I will show you. I will show all three of you watching. And uh, I think you might be pretty stoked or bored but it's not gonna stop me from doing it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully Brandon can be in on the next one. No, Brandon most likely will be in on the next one. I just couldn't wait. So he missed out, but it's all good. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, more gear reviews coming soon once I have the money to do it. <coughs> all right, I guess that's it. Keep your eye out for the next one. It's coming. Seriously though, like this whole bag, this whole system, it makes me wanna go climb mountains and like learn to snowboard and ski and just go out there with a pick and some of those naily snowshoes and just climb mountains, go in the middle of the desert. I mean, look at this. This guy is in the middle of like Canada and standing over this lake. It's probably not Canada. This whole camera bag system makes me wanna go out there and just hike and climb and learn how to snowboard and ski and do all those crazy things I don't know how to do, just because I wanna put this bag, this whole system through its, its, its paces, you know? Like use it to what it's meant to be used for. But thank you, thank you Shimoda. Again, not a sponsor, but they very well could be. Um, all right, I guess that's it.